Hi, and welcome to the saloon aboard Attila. We're going to show you around. whiteboard where we have our most important information and this is where you will find it because often some people are sleeping, some people are on the deck, and this is the common area where we can find the information when we need it. Our main objective is to outline the schedule of the day, so either today's schedule or tomorrow's schedule will be indicated here with the times. The important parts would be the meal times, which is breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Breakfast is usually 8 to 9, lunch is usually around 1, and dinner is about 8. These could change, and this is where you're going to find that information. Also beside it, there's going to be names of who is in charge of galley duty for that meal. Our galley duty schedule is typically outlined here and updated here for the daily schedule. So for the weekly or monthly schedule, here is the galley duty, and here is where you'll find it for your individual day meals. The kitchen on a boat is called a galley. Here's our galley. As a participant, you will have galley duty a few times. This is where you'll help prepare, serve, and clean up after the meal. You will check in with the cook approximately 15 to 20 minutes before the meal, and they will indicate what kind of food we're having. So that you can plan accordingly, we have plates, bowls, knives, forks, and you can set the table with whatever we will need for that meal. Typically, Typically, we will count how many plates there are to correspond with how many people are eating. So as you're serving, you can mentally adjust how much you're serving each person so that everybody gets the same amount, and you'll know how many people are still left to eat. Our plates are, are in bowls are located here, our cutlery is located here, and our serving utensils are located here, as well as our hot plates and whatever else you might need you can always ask your cook. Welcome to our beautiful galley. Here we have two faucets, a fresh water and salt water. Typically, if we are out at sea, we are trying to conserve fresh water. So we're gonna wash with the salt water and rinse with the fresh water to conserve as much as possible. If we're in harbor, then we could use fresh to wash and rinse. Here's where we dry all the dishes, and typically before you start your galley duty, you wanna clean out all of this so it's empty and all of the recently washed dishes are away where they should be. Breakfast duty works a little bit different than lunch and dinner. Typically, you have to get up 20 minutes earlier before breakfast and launch our kettles and our coffee. Also, you will have access to the first fridge, which has our milk, yogurt, cheese, butter, and you can grab these items. But we wanna make sure that we grab them quickly and close the door. Especially at sea, when we do not have electricity running all the time, it is very important to conserve the energy that we have here in the fridge. You will be the only one allowed to get more milk or more butter or any materials that we need. It will be you on your galley duty. Otherwise, we do not touch the fridge. The best part about galley duty is that you get to ring the bell to tell everyone that dinner's ready. Make sure you look around the bridge to warn anyone that might be in the vicinity to cover their ears. The galley is a great place, but it's not a great place to hang out. You should only be in the galley if you have galley duty. Otherwise, you should hang out in the saloon. I'm gonna show you some other great spots in the saloon. Here's the table in the main saloon. We use it for eating our meals, meetings, and maybe board games. You're welcome to help yourself to food on this table at any time throughout the day. There's always fruit and crackers and cookies available. If you bring any other food to share, you can put it on this table and it will quickly disappear. We also have coffee and hot water available in these thermoses all throughout the day and through your night watches that you can help yourself at any time whenever you are thirsty. We also have a toaster here and a plug for electricity to charge your phone and cameras even when the generator is not on. 
These are the garbages. We have plastic, paper, glass, cans, and mixed. Make sure to clean up after yourselves and use these garbages responsibly. You're welcome to help yourself to any of our instruments, games, books, anything here in the saloon. Just make sure that you clean up after yourself. These are where we keep our mugs. Each person has a bunk number assigned to them and a mug which corresponds to this number. You can use this mug all week long for your coffee, tea, and water. We have only one location for potable water. It's right by the galley. You have to pump a few times and this is the only place you should be going for potable water. Once you're done with your mug, you can wash it in the saloon toilet to keep out of the galley and you can hang it here to dry. It's really important to always clean up after yourself. We are many people living on this boat, so always put your items back where they belong. It this is also includes your personal items, such as notebooks, sweaters, etc. If you are done using them, put them away. If you happen to leave them around in the saloon on deck, someone might find them and put them in the lost and found for you. So if you're missing something, check the lost and found. It's just over here. In case of an emergency, the primary exit should be through the bridge. Should the primary exit not be available in case of an emergency, one of our secondary emergency exits is here through the engineer's bunk. And that's it for the briefing of the saloon. Thanks for watching and we hope to see you on board soon.